Hello, welcome to NSDA. My name is Dwayne Blad. Today we're going to talk about face-offs. When it comes to face-offs, there's a lot of different ways that players can address draws. So taking draws either in the defensive zone, neutral zone, or offensive zone. We're just going to be at a circle here, Max and I, and just showing a couple different things and a couple concepts to think about when you're taking draws. Number one, obviously we've got our circle here, and most referees are going to be pretty anal on how you set up, so on, on how you're kind of setting your feet up. You can't get too crooked, right? And especially as young kids, you kind of want to widen that base and get a good stance. You see guys in the NHL, they get really, really low when they're taking draws, and same thing with young kids. If they can get that habit of widening that base, kind of getting on the ball of their feet so they're strong, they're going to make much better decisions on, on getting those draws and much better body position in order to get those draws. Um, a lot of times you see young kids that are coming like this with their hands way up here. And the, the kicker with this is when those hands are up like that, you don't have a lot of action on your blade. You can't be as quick with that blade. So as you drop your hands down, now you kind of choke up on that stick a little bit. Now you're going to be a lot quicker with that blade when you're trying to win pucks or win, or win draws clean. So if Max and I line up, we're going to have to be square. So normally referees won't let you turn your feet like this or cheat on the side. So you're going to have to be pretty square. If you can cheat a little bit, try to cheat a little bit. And if you can get over a bit, that's fine. And a lot of circles, not all of them, but have little white marks here. And that's kind of where you're going to put your stick. But refs won't let you come in like this or put your stick here. You see guys in the NHL, if, if Max is the home team and I'm the away team, then I've got to go down first. And some refs will stick with this, some refs won't. So if I'm the away team, I've got to put my stick down first and then Max can come in for the draw. And what you'll see a lot of times is guys will wait. So as, as Max is coming, as I'm down, Max is kind of waiting, holding his stick up, trying to get advantage on me so he can get that puck nice and quick. All right, one easy way for young kids especially to win draws is just sweeping the circle. So if that puck's getting dropped anywhere in here, so if that referee is dropping that puck kind of in that area there, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in, if I'm on my backhand, I'm gonna sweep the circle and try to sweep that puck. So just sweep my side of the circle and try to get the puck. Same thing on the forehand side. All right, and if you notice a lot of times, especially at the pro level or as, as guys get older, players will turn their hand around like this on their backhand side. So if I'm trying to win the puck back to my defenseman on that side there, I'll turn my hand over. And the reason players turn the hand over is for more power. You're gonna have a lot more power pulling with that hand like this than having your fingertips trying to pull that stick back. So a lot of times players will turn that hand over in order to get more power when they're taking a draw. So if Max and I are down and I'm going to my backhand, I'd turn my hand over on my stick, my other hand stay normal, stay nice and low on that, on that stick, knees are bent, I'm on the ball of my feet, and then as that puck comes down on the drop, I'm gonna try to sweep that circle and take that puck back. All right, and if Max was trying to win it here on his forehand, and he's gonna to try to beat me for speed, same thing, he would just try to sweep that circle and try to scoop that puck. So if I was coming in here and Max went for it, he would try to sweep that circle and then get that puck away. So that's a real basic way, obviously, of trying to win, a, win draws with speed. But many, many, many times you're going to see players, especially as they get older and stronger and faster, uh, basically using different tactics and different techniques to win draws, right? And when you think of face-offs, right, Max, I'd say that most of it's mental. Like, if I see you come in and, I, and I'm going to watch how Max sets up, if he comes down on, on the draw here, I know just by his hand positioning, he's probably going to try to win the puck back that way. Right? If Max comes in with his hand turned over, right now I'm thinking, okay, he's going to try to go through his feet with this draw or on that side, just by the way he's lined up. So now I can counteract that. So if Max is, let's say Max is going to go to his backhand, and I know Max has been beating me all night and he's a really good face-off guy, maybe I don't even worry about the puck. I'm just going to go right for his stick and try to block it, and now I can come through with my stick, or I can turn and then use my feet to kick that puck. Right? If Max is going on his forehand, and maybe Max is real fast, is really good on draws. I know he's going that way, so again, I'm not even gonna touch the puck, I'm not gonna worry about it. When that ref drops, I'm gonna hit his stick so he can't come around, and then I can come back on the puck and knock that puck back, right? So a lot of different ways that you can use it, using your body is obviously a good one, or using your feet. You see a lot of centermen now that come in and right away, off that draw, they're turning and spinning, and then using that foot to kick the puck out. All right, so if you can use your body, great. Uh, but the big thing too is just getting quick at taking draws, right? So even if you had somebody, like let's say I was working with Max here and all I would do, and you can do this with your buddies or coaches that are coaching teams, you know, working with your forwards, because a lot of times wingers have to take draws as well. So working with your centermen and your forwards, but getting them in, just working on this and just speed, right? Just like any other skill, you know, you get 10, 15 pucks and you just drop them and Max is going to try to scoop them, let's say on his backhand. So it's quick drop, quick drop. Sick, Max, sick. 
But just make him do just quick little plays like that. Same thing on the forehand side. So we'll grab a couple more pucks here and we'll do it. Same thing on the forehand side. And you'll notice here, same idea. Max is just gonna be kind of turning that hand and then nice and quick, just bringing that puck back. That was a bad drop. Oh, a terrible drop. When I say terrible drop, what I mean is when a lot of times referees will drop the puck and they're obviously good, most of them. Uh, and they're gonna kind of try to drop it from here and flat. But when that puck bounces, so just kind of, if I throw a bad one and that puck bounces, those are hard to hit. That was really sick, buddy. That was good. Yeah, <laughs> get that in there. So I want to ideally drop it flat. If it does bounce and that's up to the centerman, sometimes it happens, you're going to have to adjust as, as you go. But nice and quick on it. That's terrible. All right, nice and quick on it. There you go. That's all right. Here, we'll try to get a good one here. I'm terrible at dropping. Yeah, I'll go forehand. Oh, man. Here. More me now. I'm thinking <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, solid. Solid. One other thing too to, to keep in mind as a young centerman or young forward is where the referee is going to be dropping, right? So normally if it's on the boards like this, on this side, the referee will always be on this side, right? And if it's at center ice, the referee is usually always facing the penalty box for the most part. So if the, if the penalty box is on the left side of the rink, then the ref will be facing that penalty box. So as a centerman, if I'm on this side of the draw, let's say I'm here, most times centermen are going to try to win the draw towards the referee just because it's easier on the drop to win it that way right so if i'm on this side so for instance max here would be on his backhand right but if i was on this side of the draw then max would probably be going on his forehand now good centermen are able to do do it both ways so if i'm on this side where max would maybe, maybe would normally go to his forehand he might set up a guy behind him and try to win that draw on his backhand and that's again all with practice and kind of as guys get better and girls get better at taking draws. But the big thing is just working on that technique of getting fast and trying to win draws with speed. And then as everyone gets stronger and getting older, then you want to add a little bit more technique in there of taking sticks and trying to use your body and positioning in order to win those draws. Another, another real key to taking face-offs is keep it, be, being aware of the puck. And many times with young players especially, they'll be looking at the dot and they'll be waiting for that puck to drop. What you want to do is you want to look at the referee's hand. So as, as, as I'm in the draw here, referee's on this side, so maybe I'm going to go to my forehand. I'm staring at his hand right here. And as soon as I see that hand move, it's going to be quick. So as soon as I see that hand move, now I got to react because I know that puck's coming. But if my eyes are down here and I'm not paying attention to that puck, now I'm basically guessing and I'm going to be a little bit behind. All right, so as a young face-off, as a young centerman or a forward taking face-offs, make sure we're looking at that referee's hand. So as soon as I see that hand move, then right away I'm gonna to try to go for that puck nice and quick. So as soon as that, as soon as that hand moves to draw, then right away I'm gonna to try to get that puck. I'm gonna make my move or take that player's stick, but I gotta react as soon as that hand moves. And that's a real important piece, obviously, to get that speed down, but keep an eye on that, on that referee's hand and make sure there's no movement. As soon as that hand moves, then you're gonna to react to that. One thing for young centermen to keep in mind, just like when we talk about stick handling or shooting, is keeping your hands away from your body, right? And we don't want to be up high on our stick like this, as I mentioned earlier, because this is going to be a lot slower with our blade to get that blade moving and not as much power. But we see a lot, a lot of times, especially young centermen, their hands will be close to their body like this, trying to take a draw. We want to be away so we have that mobility and we want to choke up on that stick a little bit. So get down low, all right, knees are bent, but keep those hands away from our body so we can come across or through. But you got to have mobility around that body in order to take a good draw. If you're too stiff or your stick's too tight, then you're gonna lose that mobility and that range of motion. And you're not gonna be able to be as quick or as, as, uh, as, as lucid as you should be on a face-off. So you still wanna be strong, but you wanna have that mobility that if you do spin or move, everything's kind of moving around this way. So you got mobility around that body. So there's a little bit of information on face-offs. Now there's a million different ways that players can take face-offs and everyone's gonna have their own preference and their own ideas of what of what works and what doesn't work. The main thing is trying to get that body position correct. So making sure we stay low, widen our base a little bit and keeping our, you know, getting good positioning on our stick. So making sure that our hands are lower on our stick and we're obviously working on that speed. One of the biggest things that helps players have success in the face-off circle is speed. If you can be quick at scooping pucks or sweeping pucks, you're going to have a way more success winning draws. Now you add taking sticks away and using your body. Now you've got a couple different tools in your toolbox that you can use every time you go to that face-off circle.